so we're having a revision on what we did last week. So if you want to kind of join on the back. Um, did I teach you about towel technique much, about the two towels? No. no. Not yet, okay. So we leave that, okay? So, right. Um, before I actually start, there is anything that I need to be checking about the massage? Jewelry. Yes, remember that? Yeah. 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 So put all the jewelry out. And remember the hairband? Mm -hmm. Collect the hair. Having everything is ready around, around you so you don't have to kind of rush to have another towel. It breaks the continuity. Why? So how do I start really? What should I do? The whole position. Right. Something calm yourself, calm myself down. Okay? So you do something like maybe, um, maybe just a, a preparation for yourself. Good. It's short because the client kind of waits, yeah? And starting with a... really looking to see if you can gather information. It's more listening than doing. Once I feel I'm ready, you're starting. There is anything that you would like me to do different in the way that I've just done it? Pull they the should pull the towel another way. way. So you don't want to create too many creases with the towel, mm -hmm. yeah? So you are taking the towel from underneath and sliding it, yeah? Good. Anything else I should do with the towel? You could, but later on I will I will teach you a full towel technique. So, anything else? Touch it under. Yeah. What is it for? Protect the oil. Yeah. Good. Anything? What I should do now? Ask her. She's okay. Is it okay for me to under the? Thank you. Good. So, still. The most important thing for me is not to get it right, but to get me doing it right. Mm -hmm. So a lot yet about your position, yeah? Putting your hand and putting and moving your body, yeah? So actually the least amount of movement you do with your hands. Let's look a little bit about the movement of my body, yeah? So I can move my leg as I go, yeah? So if I'm from here, I can move that way and then back. But also moving around the table, yeah? Try to avoid just breaking the contact and moving. It is uh, the continuity that we're looking So, even if it's a bridge, <coughs> even if you want to move to the other side, you can still move one leg at a time. You don't have to do that. Yeah? You can cross your legs. It brings you a little bit quicker into your position. Yeah? So again, a lot of the body Actually, I would like you to concentrate on the lower body. 
yeah, and your hands, but nothing about your arms. So two legs, and they're very uh, responsive, yeah? They're not locked. How does it called? Just a minute, after. How does the movement... Efflorage, good. What does it do? Warms the skin. Get rid of the, the, the fluid between the skin. Move it, maybe yeah, move the fluid. So it moves the fluid. Spreads the oil. Spreads the oil. Warm up the body. Warm up the, the skin and the body. Relaxes the client. Well, the most important thing is relaxation. Yeah? And, the, you know, the first binding. Are there any kind of rules that can you go across the back? Yeah. Or you need to go only in one direction? Mm -hmm. All direction. All direction. How about that movement? Um, yeah, that's okay. But how about that movement? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, you can't start with that looks start to be like, for me, not comfortable. Okay. Yeah. yeah? Yeah? What about this movement? When I'm kind of looking towards <laughs> that movement? Okay. So there is something that you can't explain, but it's more the attentiveness for that. It's your um, aiming to. Or sometimes I see faces like that. <laughs> it's not only ending in your face, but ending in your hands also. So be aware of it. And, and bringing your, and calming yourself down. And there is no way to know if it's right and wrong. Just give yourself a chance and you will see that they feel better. So you can do the effleurage with two hands. <coughs> you can do it with a reinforced hand. All the fingers are very loose, so try not to have your wrist lifted. The more contact you have, the better. Yeah, good. So, do you need to keep your fingers very strongly together, look very openly, or just look off? Try not to have it very open, because it will be kind of stretching your fingers and hard, or very tight, but just kind of loosely together. Good. Um, which one do you think would be easier for me? Doing it from here? Or from here? From that side. From above. Why? Because you're not turning, you're going straight. Do you see that here, the problem I have is that the table is wide. So it's hard for me. And what happens usually is that I lock my legs, remember? And what I do is only with my upper body. Do you see it? I'll come around to here. Yeah. So I try to do it with both, to both sides, and then it end up, look at my legs and my back. That is a lower back pain for sure. Yeah. So you need to give it, give it away a little bit and do it on one side. Sometimes if you can on both sides, but keep your legs moving. It will be a lot easier from above because you are free to access a lot easier to there. But what happened now? Look, I'm stuck. So what, can, what should I do to improve it? Move the leg a little bit. Okay. So you, you can do that, but up to about here usually. If you want to go lower, you need to move to the side. Yeah? Be aware that <coughs> you don't want to have that kind of situation. Even if they feel your shirt only, it starts making uncomfortable. So you can be closer, but be sure that no touching really happened. What about my elbows? Do I need to do anything with them? 
What's wrong no. with what I'm doing now? You bend Easy. too much. I bend them too much. So try to keep them as, it, it's not locked, but relatively straight. Yeah. How about now? Shoulders. Do you see what happened to my yeah. shoulders? Yeah. So try to relax them. So remember the diamond efflorange? Yeah. Yeah. Now again, you might not be able to come all the way down, but that's okay. You come to here. Remember how do we call this area? Occipital. Occipital, good. What was the other reference? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Side to side. Side to side. Yeah. Petrosage. What did we do in terms of petrosage? <coughs> Alternating hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ringing. <coughs> figure eight. Yeah, figure of eight of uh, or alternating hands. Base of wrist. We did the base of the wrist. Reinforced fingers. And reinforced fingers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, alternating hands. You can do it on the further away side or closer to you, but again, it's not much the hands. It's actually the legs, a lot of leg work, yeah? <coughs> the same with ringing. <coughs> Sorry. Same with ringing. And um, palpate this muscle, the vertebrae. <coughs> um, when you're um, when you're doing the ringing, again a lot of more leg work. When you're doing the wrist, bring your weight in like a wave. Here you can do a little bit of the um, bending of the elbow or fingers, finger needing more to do with the neck, yeah? <clears throat> Good, go to the, sub, to the occipital area, really nice working, yeah? So feel the occipital bone and then the erector spiny muscle. Very little, very few, very little movement. Uh, not much to, uh, to show, but that's really enough. You don't have to do a lot. And actually it will be kind of aggravating. Try it, try it in the, in, in the couple when you're working in your pairs to do a lot more and very little and see what feels more effective. Okay, <coughs> any question now? Can I ask you to work with someone you haven't worked before? Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea is to. Close. 